get deep. <laughs> Anything to do with on the water adventure sports, I'm all about it. Stand up paddle boarding. Swimming in it, you know, just paddling on it. Surfing, diving. Rowing a dinghy on it, going boating, yachting. Spear fishing and then there's a big bait ball of fish surrounding you. Yeah, the ocean is basically, you know, my life. Diving for scallops, that's my favourite. It allows us a space where we can connect to our tupuna. Having the ability to come down here to the moana um, gives me a great sense of belonging and strengthens my identity. The ocean has provided me in particular and a lot of the kids that have come on my camps with lots of fun, lots of challenges, you know, life-changing ex experiences. Ultimately, I love spearfishing and I love diving. Being inside a wave is like time just stops, everything stands still, everything goes slow motion. You are a part of nature and it's the greatest feeling I've ever, ever experienced in my life. The feeling I get when I go out on the ocean is one of excitement because I've got some people on the boat I'm responsible for. I'm responsible for myself. I've got to put myself against whatever gets thrown at me by the sea. Some of my favourite memories in the ocean are surfing with my brothers. Going with Dad and going surf casting. Collecting pippies uh, with my grandfather. I started taking my youngest boy, Jai, out in the water with me, just catching little waves with him and he's just like loving it. And saving a whale. That would have to be the most memorable moment that has happened in 2020. I remember us coming down to the moana and reciting karakia and, and waiata, which reinforces our whakapapa to the moana. It's really heartwarming when we see our tamariki ocean side, you know, swimming um, in Hine Moana. It's so unfortunate that we don't get to see that down here in our Manuko harbour because the quality of this moana is not well enough in order to collect kai from or even to swim in. The supply of fish is in a full decrease. Governments sell themselves out without, they just think of the money. They don't think of what it's actually doing to their communities. Being out there in perfect waves, but then you're, you're stroking through a bunch of plastic and a bunch of rubbish. We were known as a nation of clean, green Kiwis, you know, that was our tagline and I think that we've kind of faded away from it. I would love to see the Modi restored in our waterways um, so that we can leave behind a better moana and a better Aotearoa for the next generations to enjoy.